So to show you how to refill it real quick, in the edible ink refill kit, what you get are five bottles of ink. You get two bottles of black, and that's because it's the same black ink regardless of whether it's in the thin black cartridge or in the thick black cartridge. Both of them use the same type of ink. So you get two bottles of that and you get two bottles, I'm sorry, one bottle of each of the colors. So I'm gonna show you how to do a refill on both the old style and the new style. So I'm gonna start with the old style first. So I'll put this out of the way. What you wanna do is first of all, make sure it's inside the clip because what this does is down here, there's a rubber pad that imitates that gasket that's on the print head and that prevents air from creating a suction effect and gravity will not be your friend. So what you do is you grab this plug right here and you just gently lift up on it. And the reason I wear gloves when doing this is I want to get very, very close to that plug as I'm pulling it out. Because if you just grab this little flap here and yank on it, it will end up spraying ink all over the place. So when refilling it, you'll get four needles and your bottles. And what I do is a concept called two points of contact. I'm sorry, three points of contact. The bottle is touching, the, touching my mat. My hand is touching the bottle from the front and the back. So I have three points of contact on the bottle at all times, and that prevents me from tipping it over. I open it, and you also notice that on the lids, I put the color of each ink on there just in case it gets mixed up. And while maintaining three points of contact, I screw on the needle. And then here, this is gonna get a little interesting because of the angle. You want to insert that into that opening that you just pulled the plug out of, set it up, and then start filling it. Now, since this is an old cartridge, I'm not gonna fill it up the whole way, but you can see for the illustration, the difference between what the plastic looks like when there's ink in it versus no ink in it. So I'm gonna put the plug back in this one. And just for comparison, I have some cartridges here that I intentionally let dry out. So you see this yellow one here, you can see the darker kind of egg yolk color down here. And it's more of like a sponge or a dried pasta color up here. This indicates that the sponge has dried out entirely. So you might have to revive the sponge on that. Now, this can be a little bit of an experimental thing, but you put ink in the cartridge, plug it back up and let it sit and come back in five minutes. If you want to take a picture of it with your phone, so you have a before and after picture to reference. And then when you come back, see if that color has crept up into the sponge. And you should also notice that the ink will go down. And that's because the sponge is reviving itself by filling back up. So that is the old style cartridge. So let's take a look at the new style. Um, can I say something real quick? Because we had Please a comment. Do. Okay, so um, we switched from the orange clip to the black clip cartridges. That's just an identifier, identifiable feature to tell the difference between the two cartridges. Mm -hmm. The reason we did that is the newer cartridge with the black cl clip actually has a smaller sponge in there um, to allow it for to, to hold the ink, which is what we need. Um, but then it also um, allows for more ink to go into that cartridge as well. It holds more ink. It um, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more, you're getting a little more for your money. Um, and we also found that the flow on the cartridge is so much better than the orange, orange caps. So um, you'll get used to the caps. If you're used to those orange caps, that's great. A lot of people had problems with breaking off the clips. Um, so the black cartridge is a little more finicky. Um, but once you get used to it, it's easy. It's just, it's something new. That's it all. Is. So what I'm going to do here is for the black clip, I'm going to grab a couple of paper towels just so I don't make a mess everywhere. Like that? Like that. <laughs> and with the black clip, you pop it loose like you would with the orange, and then you rotate it backwards. And you see how it just fell off? 
It doesn't require any amount of strength whatsoever. It's not a like a snap in or a clip or anything like that. It's literally just a couple of teeth that are hanging on and you just bump it and it pops right off. It takes no force whatsoever. If you're trying to force the black clip, you have another issue of some sort that you're dealing with there. And another difference with the black clip is with the orange clips, you sometimes had to burp the cartridge by taking the plug out, tapping it, and then putting the plug back in. The black cartridge, I'm sorry, the black clip cartridges are self-venting. So you don't have to worry about burping these anymore. That's the other difference. Any yeah, other and you also find too sometimes that they drip a little bit more Mm -hmm. um, depending how you, so there's other factors too. When you have a new set of cartridges, if they went up in an airplane, they're going to be more pressurized. Yes. Um, and so they can drip a little bit more when it does one drip, it looks like a ton of, um, of ink is coming out when it's really, it, it, you know, a drip, it, it, it looks worse than it is basically. Um, she had problems getting them back on. So practice turn when you're removing the clip, turn the cartridge upside down. So it doesn't drip. Um, I have to do that sometimes as well. And then you just kind of blot it off and you're ready to go. It doesn't always happen, but, um, but sometimes it will get pressurized, especially if it, go, if it's flying to you. Um, a lot of times we upgrade our customers to do two day air for free. We don't charge them more. So it's going up in a plane. Um, and that could cause a little bit of a, of a being pressurized basically. Mm -hmm. upper, so, yep. So let me just double check this since I've been fiddling with it. There we go. <laughs> All right. So removing the plug is identical process. You just work up that little flap and then just gently and slowly lift it out. And then if you want to, you can set it down on your counter like you normally would, or you can put it in that handy little plug holder right there. And then just like before, take the needle, insert it in. Got an air bubble there. Yeah, you got to go slow because um, the, the air gets trapped and it'll, it'll basically force it out the hole. Yep. And then you just fill it in like that. And then what I do is I'll take my paper towel, just dab that roll easily. Put that plug back in and it's ready to go. And then before I install it, I always dab the bottom of the cartridge just real quick on a paper towel so I don't get any drips inside the printer. Okay. Um, something else I want to comment. So Joel, Joel get, does not like the, to, the way the cartridge clips go on the black one. But the, 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 sorry, the black clip goes on. Um, uh, make sure when you're, make sure when you're putting that or t cap on or taking it off, that that plug is in. Um, if you don't, it just like a tin can with two holes, um, it will flow right through. Um, I do want to want to make that statement. Um, also, on the on the spout that he just took off, something else that's important is to make sure that the lid is on tight and that the um, little needle that comes out of there, make sure that's on tight too. I've had them leak a little bit there as well. Um, but um, just practice with that clip before you refill it taking it off, putting it on, and you should be okay. It's just, you, you, you got to get used to it. Um, mm -hmm. Marilyn, does Stacey have a clever way of marking the refill needle tops to match the colors on the white caps? Also, hi, missed seeing the crew in Orlando, but you'll see us in Austin. Cookie Con, that's what, Cookie Con's in Austin, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So when it comes to the needles, I don't mark them, but that's because I clean the needle after every use. So like once we're done with the live, I'll take it to the sink and I'll rinse it out with hot water. For the black clips, what I use is either a whiteout or a silver Sharpie or something like that just to mark the end of it. That way I know I'm using the same color clip each time. And you can see if you write on the using black Sharpie, you can see it. You just have to angle it into the light. Mm -hmm. um, if you do not want to rinse out your tips, just put them in each separate Ziploc bags um, and mark the back and that yeah. will work for you. That would work. Yep. So, uh, 